When we go to list property, your data knowledge is your product knowledge. Because people want to know you have a way of achieving a price expectation for what they believe and what you believe. Now when we price property, there is two figures. There is a mathematical figure and then there is an emotional figure. Now the vendor's emotional. They want X amount of dollars, they want to buy a new car and go on a holiday. Many emotions contribute to their price, including family members or friends who say, you should get. Now they're all figures of emotion. If we look at the mathematical figure, that's going to be based on facts. X amount of homes sold at the same square meterage with similar parking, they've been on the market before, and that's the facts and evidence where we make a recommendation. But I think explaining to the owner the emotional mathematical figure is a crucial part of your product knowledge. Now we all know an, another agent can beat you by saying a higher figure that doesn't relate to the data. So how would you overcome this? Well the greatest thing that ever happened in pricing was 2009. Because so many agents were selling property emotionally, but then the bank would say, no way. We are not lending 80% of that value of that property of what you're saying because mathematically it only comes in here. Well, this is where RP data really comes to the forefront of your expertise and knowledge. But unfortunately, too many agents only skim over the data to get a couple of comparables and there is so much more you can do to come across as a far better professional with the mathematical knowledge. Now, as you keep going into this and you talk about the recent sales, you should also look up who bought the property. For example, I may not have sold the one down the road and the vendor saying to me, oh, but they sold this one, they're a great agent, maybe we should be with them. And then I can say, well, that one was purchased by Robin McCoggan. She was looking on the market for us, she saw three others of our homes, but ended up purchasing that one for this amount of money. So it's not that they were the incredible agent with the property, we all had the purchaser and we had that knowledge of that purchaser. Another great tip for you is this. Many times an owner can say, Lee, you're presenting this information to me, but the other agent is cheaper than you. Well, let's define the cost of an agent. The value in an agent is not what they charge you in percentage. It's what they can actually achieve you in profit. Now, if you look at your data, so many homes come on the market and they sell for a different figure. Well, let's look at that in reverse. I could say to an owner, these are my last 20 sales, look at the initial offer that came in and look at what I got the offer to. My recovery rate is about 8.6%, whereas my nearest competitor could be around about 2 or 3%. Because sometimes people do wholesale selling. They're on a lesser rate, this is all I'm going to get for it, let's sell it. Whereas an agent will go to that nth degree to get you the best price they can is the better negotiator. And the agent you choose will have a complete bearing on the price you receive based on their ability to negotiate. Well, that's something you can explain. It's a great thing called recovery rate. But another good thing to show the owner is, look at what all these homes came on the market for and let's look at where they sold. And this percentage difference is now gonna affect the mathematical and emotional figure of what I can achieve for you. Because regardless of what the agent says in value, it's the facilitation of the marketplace that really allows an agent to get a profitable price for the owner. But if you use this data in product knowledge and not just on the surface, you'll have an owner look at you thinking, you're on top of your game. Nobody else explained that to us, you're very, you're very thorough and we want to move ahead with you. And that's when I think you have the, the greatness of a lister. See, listing's about moments, engaging gems of moments where a point like recovery rate or how homes drop in price, mathematical and emotional come together where they see you as a study professional. 